Palestinian militant group Hamas have claimed to have captured on over a hundred Israelis hostage. And now they are telling Israel that upon every missile attack against Palestine, one Israeli citizen will be eliminated, will be executed. And they said they are going to do it live. Have you heard about the breaking news that is happening around the world today? If you have not heard about the breaking news, your breaking news connect, your breaking news blog is here. Yes, all you need to do is follow the page, share the video so that everybody can be aware what is happening, not just in Nigeria, not just in Africa, but around the globe. Yes, share the video, drop your comment, watch the video till the end. Yes, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Israel has declared war upon the Palestinian militant group, which is Hamas. Now, it all started on Saturday. The recent one started on Saturday, whereby the Palestinian militant group Hamas launched an offensive attack against Israel through water, air, and land. They led an offensive attack that has left over 900 Israelis dead. Now, that led to a retaliation and a declaration of war upon Palestine by the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. Netanyahu has declared a war upon Palestine, whereby he has launched a missile attack to Gaza. And that has left over 687 people dead in Gaza, in Palestine. Now, the declaration of war upon Palestine has saw lives and properties being destroyed in Palestine. As a matter of fact, there is a serious level of war going on in Gaza. Now, the Palestinian militant group, Hamas, have claimed to have captured on over a hundred Israelis hostage. And now they are telling Israel that upon every missile attack against Palestine, one Israeli citizen will be eliminated, will be executed. And they said they are going to do it live, both audio and video coverage of the execution. That they are going to make sure Israel stop sending missile without notice that not that they said israel should not send missile they said don't send missile without notice that any missile sent without a notice will lead to the execution of one israeli citizen and now despite the palestinian militant group saying that thing israeli prime minister is not backing down he is not backing down he has declared a series of war he said whatever they have even done in Palestine, whatever destruction they have caused, whatever missile they have sent to Palestine, the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, is saying that they are just starting, that they want to do full level up of Palestine. On the Palestinian side, they are saying that they are reinforcing and they want to launch more attack on the Israeli people. Now, there was a time they sent a missile to the Israeli airports. And as at that time, some other countries were evacuating their citizens from the airports to their country in Israel, in Tel Aviv. Now the missile came, but Israel has a defense system called the Iron Dome something something. Now what the Iron Dome does is that when you send a missile to Israel, it diffuses the missile from the sky. It moves from the ground and it goes to the sky and diffuses. It detects any missile that comes into Israel and it diffuses the missile in the air so the missile doesn't make it to the ground. <coughs> but in some cases, they say in some areas outskirts Israel, missiles were able to penetrate into Israel. Now, the war is not stopping. If you look through the images that are being displayed on the internet by CNN, you will see that 
both Israel and in Gaza, they have destruction all over the countries. If you watch the videos, you will see CNN officials running for their life, hiding, taking cover for the fear of missile. Now, my take on this. I have given you the information. I have my own take on this crisis going on between, this is not a crisis. This is a war going on between Israel and Palestine. Now, for those of us that don't know about the origin of the crisis between, origin of the war between Palestine and Israel, it started even since the days of old. Even in the Bible, it's there. The war has started for a long time. Yes, this is a war between the Ishmael brothers and the other side. So, it's not a war that started today. It's a long time war. And moving on, this particular crisis, they start in between themselves now. This particular war that have started between them, I don't think this one will end anytime soon. And if we are not careful, this might lead to the Third World War. Because as a matter of fact, I learned that America is sent, has sent the heaviest warship to Israel to go and help Israel fight the war. So if America is going to send Israel uh, to go send the heaviest warship to Israel, already Saudi Arabia has said they are not going to do, they have canceled every negotiation of of, uh, of uh, how do they call it? Yes, if there's a way they put the English, it's bigger than me now. Any relationship with Israel, Saudi Arabia has cancelled it. Now, it will lead to a third world war if we are not careful. As long as US have sent a warship to the largest warship to Israel, Russia might wake up and say, These people are they are being oppressed. Gaza and the Obel want to support them with weapon. China might come in, North Korea might come in, and then every other people will go and back Israel. All the allies of Israel will back Israel and the rest of them. And this might lead to the Third World War. Please. That is why I was begging Niger that war is never an option. If you start a war, to end it is a problem. It's not a matter of starting the war. Is a matter of ending the war. What is the essence of the war in the first place? To show that you have more weapons than me. To show that you have more uh, or more military power than me. To show that you have more capacity than me. At the end of the day, there are destruction in both ends. People die here, people die here. Infrastructure go here, infrastructure go here. At the end of the day, you start rebuilding. Look at Ukraine. They have not started the problem. War is never an option. Now, despite all that is happening between Israel and Palestine, the war happening between them, catch of what is happening is that information reaching me is that the Nigerian government has called for a ceasefire between Israel and Palestine. The Nigerian government called for a no, what this means is that the Nigerian government cross the border, leave everything that is happening in the country, cross the border, and calling for a ceasefire between Israel and Palestine. Is it the same Nigerian government that wanted to mobilize ECOWAS to go and fight in Niger? That we, are, I, I was calling for a ceasefire. That is now calling for a ceasefire between Palestine and Israel. Nigerian government left the crisis happening in Zampara, Borno, Niger State, and the rest of them, uh, Anambra, Imo, and are now calling for a ceasefire in Israel. Continue deceiving yourself. Who are you to even call a ceasefire in, in Israel? Who are you? So you mean the Prime Minister of Israel will listen to you? Or Hamas will listen to you? <laughs> Dala, please leave. I don't have power to fight this morning. I don't have power to talk. All I'm asking for is peace to reign. 
let there be peace because the essence of the war is what what is the essence of the war to show that i have capacity more than you to show that i have weapons more than you to show what exactly at the end of the day life and properties will be destroyed you will start rebuilding you take your countries back that is a problem this war did not start today between israel and palestine it has been a long time crisis but it will not how can it even end how can it end israel are claiming that palestine palestinian the american group are are using underground means sometimes laying ambush and kidnapping israelis that they are despite they don't want to fight that these people are doing that the palestinians are claiming that israel is oppressing them sending military to kill them blah 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 and the rest of them everybody have their own uh, killing but it's war an option no war is not an option look at the images i'm seeing online it's heartbreaking wallahi it is heartbreaking please let there be peace please that's why i'm warning Nigel. you see you see war if you start it you can end though that's why i was begging Nigel. don't go to war don't go to war finally i'm begging them don't go to war go to war don't do that if you start it to end it is a problem it's not to start it to end it is a problem and you take your country backward look at gaza see the building they have destroyed where will they start building all those skyscrapers from when please i don't have power if i even if i talk for not tomorrow some of you will still watch the video and say i don't have sense i agree i don't have sense I mean, is it today you tell me that I don't have sense? I don't. But I am the spice creator. And I will continue to bring you breaking news. This is who I am. What I signed for. Google me if you like. Don't Google me. That is your business.